the wind is absolutely terrible today so I'm not quite sure how this sound is going to work but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Um, today I'm going to put it all back together and uh, hopefully get far enough to be able to start it. So uh, assembly is the reverse of disassembly as they say. So I'm going to yeah whip through it a piece at a time and uh, try and get it all back together. I just the calves are probably going to be the most fiddly bit and I don't fancy doing them right now so I'm not going to. I'm just going to do things as I come across them starting with this hose clip. Uh, I'm going to leave this stator cover off. Um, actually, no, I can put it back on now. Yeah, put it back on. I, this was also very, very crusty in here. And I've put, again, ACF 50 inside there to hopefully reduce some of the corrosion happening again. Which side do we think that goes? Oh, no, I can't do that yet. I've got to do the, the coil pickup first. Coil pickup goes on here. The other problem I'm going to face is just before I started the cameras, I just thought oh, I'll just see if the starter motor turns over, and it doesn't. So there's something electrical that I've missed. It's in neutral, the neutral light is working, uh, and I can put it in and out of gear. There's, I don't. Is there a clutch switch on this? I don't think there's a clutch switch on this. There's no side stand switch, that's for sure. So, yeah, at the minute I'm not quite sure what the issue is there. This wind is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I did talk that up, didn't I? I did. Talk that one up. Haven't talked that one up. That's loose still. So, as I was saying, got loads of ACF 50 in it now to hopefully reduce the, or, yeah, prevent, prevent, reduce the amount of crustiness. Uh, and I can't put, wow. Earlier, I was trying to actually remove the uh, the coils but I didn't succeed so I took all the bolts out now I should put all the bolts back in fairly sure ACF 50 is perfectly safe on electrical stuff so it doesn't matter that I've got it all over the coils it might smoke a little bit if it gets warm I suppose There's this little cable retainer piece. Cable retainer piece going on there. can't put that on yet because I haven't tightened that up so I've got to do that in a minute. Head steady bolts. S 
So two long bolts. in the frame here Okay, fan. Goes on. Look. Oh, come on, washer. Next, the footrest, because that's nice and easy. Is that the right one? I think so. Uh, you know what I need to do? I need to tighten up the... Okay, don't do that up tight. I need to tighten up the engine bolts now. I've got all, all the engine bolts are in. They're all loose. I need to tighten them up. And I forgot the spanners. That's not the right size. I didn't think it was. That is 17, isn't it? 17. Okay. I can do it with the old fashioned way. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to think what might cause the starter motor not to start a motor. I guess it could be that with these bolts loose, maybe there wasn't any earth. Ah, I really need the 17 mil socket. Why didn't I go and get it? Okay. <clears throat> so my curiosity, was it an earth? No. 
it's something else. Something else problem. Okay, where was I? I was doing up the footrest. What else is missing from this side? Bash plate, I can do that last. That was the... Did we just do this temperature to the side? That's, that's in. Carburetor, I guess. Carburetor, this side, exhaust on the other side, other footrest, chain when I need to do that, the chain sprocket nut, which again would be easier if I go and find the socket, which I will do, 17mm, then I've got, yeah, some exhaust brackets, the stoplight switch, other footrest, yeah and then the water there's a water pipe on the other side and he's doing whether is that the bolt for that i'll do that while i remember And I've just noticed the little camera's turned off too. So I'm going to pause for a minute and check the sound and charge up the little camera battery and look for my 17mm socket. Okay, the weather's kind of crazy. It's uh, the sun's going in and out. The wind's blowing up and down. It's um, all turning out to be a bit traumatic to film it. But anyway, I just thought I'd get these the brake pedal and the footrest on this side, which I think is like that and like that. Uh, while you weren't watching, I just I got the rattle gun and just did up the engine bolts final little tweak I, to save people's ears, Nigel. And now the sun's come out, I'm going to have to check the camera. Not too bad. So, brake pedal switch. Which end is going to be the easiest to hook on? <laughs> oh, got it stuck in there. Now, ah, oh, there must be a spring. That's right. I saw a spring. There he is. That makes it slightly easier. So switch. Nut. Put the connectors on while I'm here. And then the spring. like that. I probably need a bit of adjustment and tightening but I'll do that in a minute. Tighten
tighten these up before I forget. And then after this, I don't think there's any getting away from, I probably should do the carbs next because the exhaust, I'd like to do the exhaust, but it will be in the way of the, the carb. Good grief, I can't get over the fact there's only one carb. Every time I pick it up, it looks like two. Okay, um, carburetor next, but I'm gonna stop for a minute. Well, I don't know when the filming stopped, but it stopped at some point. Uh, I'm not taking it apart again. As I was saying earlier, in a bit of film you may not see, I'm just snipping the tie wraps on the airbox side of the rubber pipes to the carburetor. And now I'm going to try and manipulate these onto the inlets. <sighs> whilst also keeping all these other pipes out of the way. That one, there we go, that's out of the way now. Okay, the, the inlet, this rubber piece does have a kind of handy tab to pull on. But whether that's enough.
Well, yesterday I was hoping to get this complete, but, um, but I didn't. Um, so I did learn a lot of things and I'll try and remember some of the things I said in the, during the time that I wasn't actually recording the video. Um, so the first thing is that you can't, once the engine's in the frame, you can't get the carburetors in when this is screwed in. So you have to either mount the carburetors and the manifold before you put the engine in the frame, or you have to mount the carburetors to the manifold and then screw the manifold in afterwards because you can't get them in when the manifold is on the engine and the carburetors are out. Secondly, um, I'm not sure how much of this again I recorded, but it's much easier if you take the subframe, if you undo the subframe here and here and the bottom ones here, you can actually fold the subframe out of the way, but you can get a gap here and you've got much more room to work at getting this rubber in. The constraining factor for pulling the subframe back a long way is this main harness and I couldn't find an easy way to disconnect that so I didn't. But yeah, I struggled with this rubber for quite a long time and at some point in the proceedings I managed to have it upside down and I was trying to put the these two throats of the carburetor are different sizes. There's a big one and a small one. And somehow I'd managed to turn it upside down. And of course, one side was slipping on very easily and I could not get the other side on. So anyway, another thing I did that I filmed, but then it didn't come out was put a new oil filter on. So on this side, all I've got to do now is fit the exhaust which I will do. I'll think about painting it. I'm not sure if I've got any high temperature paint. If I have, I might paint at least the front two pipes. Um, so that's everything on this side. Then I've got to fit the tank, the seat, the side panels. And that's it on that side. This side, I have fitted the cam cover, cam belt cover. Um, I did get the starter working yesterday, so it was a, it was a connector in here. This, this, uh, which one? This one, uh, nope. Where's it gone? This connector here was the one that had come undone for some reason. Um, yeah, I've got to fit the fuel tank. Uh, air filter I'm going to leave off because the other one has uh, disintegrated so I'm going to need, I need a new air filter. Oh yeah, 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 I remember. The other thing, when I was fitting this piece here, there's a, an O-ring in behind there that I ha had on the other head and I took it out and I tapped this thread out because it needed, it needed cleaning out and I just kind of flicked my finger like that to clean the the uh, the swarf out of the way and my finger caught the o-ring and it went flying and it's it's somewhere over there so i may not ever find that again so i will order at least anyone i'll order a new one of those and an air filter when i get it i might just be able to get away with the three bond on there we'll see so yeah hopefully i'll have it running on running later on today and then after it's, after i've got it running before the MOT, uh, I've got to do the forks. I don't know if you can see that, but they're they're leaking quite badly, and um, I don't think they've actually got any oil left, or very little oil, because the damping is is super soft. Um, so I've got to put oil, water, forks. So quite a few things to do, and uh, I'm going to have a cup of tea first and then get on with it. Hopefully Ted is going to take good care of the, uh, the little camera there and you might be able to see a bit more of what I'm doing. I've got it lined up hopefully so you can see the pipes going on up here. Now to make sure I figure out the right way around for this. This one 
goes into the side, so it's a, a dual pipe system thing. This one goes into the silencer muffler. So this piece, and then there's a separate piece goes in. So this is why I keep thinking it's a twin, of course, and carburetors. Actually, the first thing we're going to do is put in the two little asbestos things, asbestos-like gaskets, which hopefully won't fall out. I had lots of trouble with this blowing in the past and I just managed to fix it when I was on the, just before I was going to the MOT last year. Hence my disappointment when it broke. All my fault of course. So that one. Should go something like that. And I've got some, this stuff called Bond Lock. It's nickel anti seize, which is apparently the stuff for really hot things like exhaust. So I'm going to put a blob of that on where the nuts go on. The nuts are also um, brass, so in theory, should be easy to get off next time. So I think that's more or less in the right place. Now, the other one. Now I had trouble with this blowing before, so I did put some <clears throat> exhaust stuff on it, whatever you call it. Fire cement. Fire putty. So I'm gonna try that again. and squidge it on the inside of the pipe, which you can't see. And squidge some on the pipe itself as well. Hopefully that will seal up. Oh, I need the clip. Okay, where are we going? Are we anywhere near? I can't I can't see that at all.
loose. Okay, now some some more of the nickel stuff. I'm hoping you get a good shot of this, Ted, all my efforts here. I know you're shooting into the light. There's one nut, there's just one nut left to start. Just get silver stuff all over everything, but I'm sure it'll wipe off. Okay. <clears throat> so hopefully I can tighten these up and all will be well. I can see that one's pulling up nicely on the gasket. side but then I'd get in the way of the camera so yeah that seems to be in the right place something stripping. Ha! <laughs> you son of a gun. I think that this one just pulled out, didn't it? <sighs> Can't see. Uh, I'm going to leave it for now. I may have to come back and revisit that, unfortunately. And yet another job I've got to do more than once. So, two things left now. Um, easy one, put some oil in it. Slightly not so easy one. Put the fuel tank tank on. Fuel tank. Okay, I'm going to have to charge the battery now. <laughs> <laughs> 